I'm looking at these. This can't be right. This can't be. There's no way. There's no way. How can this be? No. You're never going to believe what happened to home prices last month. That's right. There's no way you're going to believe what happened to home prices. And if you've been waiting for home prices to come down, you're going to be waiting for a long time. Or if you've been thinking about selling, you have not missed the boat on top dollar. So let's go over the 10 statistics you should know about the Savannah real estate market to stay well informed and sound wicked smart when you talk to your friends. Hey, speaking of friends, if you know anybody looking to buy or sell a house, share this video with them. We would love to help them. So now let's get into these numbers. Number one, the average sales price. That's what everybody always pays the most attention to. The average sales price last month, now this is last month, went up 3.5% from $376,810 to $402,379. It's the first time in the Savannah history that we've crossed that $400,000 average home price. And for the year, for the year now, home prices are up 14% this year alone. Number two are the number of homes for sale, and that's inventory. The reason why home prices have been going up and staying so strong is because we have a lack of inventory. Inventory went from 2,144 homes for sale to 2,253. Now that's up for month, month over month, but it's still about half of what the historic inventory is here in Savannah and the Chatham County, Bryan County in our, in our, in our MLS area. But that, that, that is the number one, number two, and number three reason why this, the housing market is so strong right now. It's because of the low inventory, and I don't see that changing very soon. Number three is new listings. New listings went up from 1,053 to 1,239. Now, that's to be expected this time of year, but it's still far below what we are normally seeing this time of the year. Now, number four is pending sales. Pending sales are up from 930 to 999. Now pending sales, what that is, that's next month's sold homes. This is a huge leading indicator on what's happening with the market. And as you can see, with the, with the, uh, with the sales going up, or the, pen, I'm sorry, the pending sales going up to, to 999, that the market's still moving along. From pending sales, we go to number five, which is closed sales. That went from 833 the month before to this month, well, I'm sorry, it went from 833 for two months ago to 1,004 last month. That's up 21%. Now, that's still down from a year over year and historic basis, but still a good number. Number six is average days on market. And this is how fast your house actually will sell once you put it on the market. That went down slightly, so the homes are selling a little bit faster that went from 65 days on the market to 58 days. So if you put your house on the market right now, you probably will have it on the market and sell it in 58 days, which is still a fantastic, fantastic low number historically. Number seven, month supply of homes for sale. That stayed flat at 2.4 months, went up a little bit to 2.5 months. That supply shows you the amount of inventory we have on the market. Now, normally, we're about five or six months supply. Anything over six months is a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is a seller's market. And as you can see, at 2.4 months, we are in a strong seller's market. All right, number eight, average price per square foot is 198 per square foot, okay? That's what you're gonna pay for a home right now on average is $198 per square foot. And that's up from $192. Number nine is showings per listing. Showing per listings went from 5.3, went down to 4.7. Now, what this means is that every listing on the MLS, on average, got 4.7 showings last month. This is a pretty high number, but the more buyers you get in the market, the more showings. The more showings, the more offers, the more offers, the more your house sells for, or the quicker it sells for. The showings per listing is a very important number, and that is what I would consider a le leading indicator. Number 10, average showings per pending. What that is, is the number of showings it takes in order to get a contract on your house when you have it listed, all right? That went from 13.7 down to 11.6. That means it took 11.6 showings on average to get your house under contract. And I always tell my clients when we have a place listed 
that every single showing is extremely, extremely important because you never know which one of those 11.6 is gonna be the one person who wants to buy your house. All right, we've got one more bonus statistic. It's the percentage received of original list price. This shows what buyers are paying the sellers for their house, what percentage of the sales price they're paying. And right now it's 100%. That means that buyers are paying 100% of the list price with no negotiations off the price. All this points to a very strong seller's market, but if you have the ability to buy a house, do so now. What we've seen is that prices continue to climb. And if you wait longer, the, price are, the prices are going up even more. Date the rate and marry the house. If rates go down, you can always refinance. But if rates go up, you'll be very happy you bought when you did. Wow, if I didn't see the numbers myself, I wouldn't have believed it. If you want a copy of this report, message me below and I'll email it to you. But they are, are all correct and all accurate because I did double check them. So that's a wrap on the Savannah, Georgia real estate monthly market update. Right now we are definitely in a strong stable seller's market and I think we'll continue to see the prices steadily increase into the future until we get more inventory online. Remember, I would love to be your real estate agent and help you with all your buying and selling needs. So call me at 912-844-9000 if you have any questions or message me on any of the social media platforms. And as always, thanks for watching.